CJ Stroud said on, I believe it was Tom Brady's podcast, that if Marvin Harrison Jr., Ohio State wide receiver, doesn't win the Heisman Trophy, thing is rigged. And you love this from CJ Stroud if you're an Ohio State fan. Or if you're just Marvin Harrison Jr., period. Like, that's your quarterback going to bat for your guy. I love that. Good teammate move by CJ Stroud. All about it. To be honest, Marvin Harrison Jr., as much buzz as we're hearing around Michael Penix Jr. and Bo Nix and Jaden Daniels, like my, Marvin Harrison Jr. very well could win the Heisman. But the thing about the Heisman is it's a snapshot award, meaning the way that you win this thing is by making big-time moments happen in November. You hear about Heisman moment. It's about stages. And the big stage for Marvin Harrison Jr. now, before they give away that award, will be the game against Michigan. So, I mean, his stats at this point have been phenomenal. 59 catches, over 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. He got a rushing touchdown. People are going to say, well, Malik Neighbors has better stats. You're not wrong. Marvin Harrison Jr., though, I think has better stages, has more stages. And so if he goes out and has like three touchdowns against Michigan, this, this conversation picks up some steam and maybe Marvin Harrison Jr. doesn't win in the Heisman. I don't know. He's been phenomenal all season long. However, I think Marvin Harrison Jr., is the best player in college football right now. Just pure player, pure talent. Top three pick, probably. If I had to bet on one person playing college football right now to be a Hall of Famer in the future, I'd take Marvin Harrison Jr., and I wouldn't think twice about it. Now, with that being said, he's the best player in college football, but Jaden Daniels is having the best season in college football, and he deserves to win the Heisman Trophy. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, they've lost this many games and Jaden Daniels hasn't you know, kept his team undefeated. Like, I don't care about that. We've seen other people win the Heisman Trophy with multiple losses as well. But the way that he is performing right now, he's going to be an elite company here after the regular season of a group of quarterbacks that have run for over 1,000 yards and thrown for over 3,000 yards. Y'all, that's just, that's stupid. Again, single digit guys have done that throughout college football history. Guys like Johnny Menzel and Vince Young being in that elite group. Take him off of LSU's roster. How many games does LSU win? Like right now, they have a potential to win nine. If Jaden Daniels isn't their quarterback, how many are they winning? Seven? Maybe? Like what he means to LSU cannot be overstated. And he's just having a ridiculous season. He deserves to win the Heisman Trophy. Now, here's the problem. Here's the issue right now. I think a lot of people feel this way. I don't think this is really a hot take when it comes to Jaden Daniels being the, the guy for us to win the Heisman. However, we talked about it. It's a stages award. It's all about having the platform, having the eyes of the country upon you, and being able to make a push and make a statement to everybody watching, hey, I am the guy. The problem with this situation now is Jaden Daniels will not have really another big game, but he won't have that last data point that Marvin Harrison Jr. will likely or potentially have, depending on how that Michigan game goes, and other people will have that we're going to talk about here in a second. Having a ridiculous season. But the lack of data points he's going to have compared to his competitors could end up being the issue for him. So the mission for him right now, where they got Georgia State and Texas A&M the rest of the way, let's ball. Let's, let's, Let's turn the volume up so loud on this Heisman Trophy campaign if we're Jaden Daniels and LSU to where you can't ignore it. A thing where like after the Notre Dame game where we pretty much knew Caleb Williams was gonna win the Heisman even if they didn't beat Utah, that's the kind of feel I would like Jaden Daniels to create for Heisman voters across the landscape after they finish that game against a and Now, who's going to win the Heisman from where we're standing? I think it's going to be Bo Nix. And right now, he is the overwhelming favorite when it comes to Vegas. I think he was like minus 110 odds to win the Heisman. Uh, he also likely has that extra data point. And to be clear, I would be okay with this. Like as much as we think Jaden Daniels having the best season in the country, Bo Nix and what he's done for Oregon, and if they do end up winning the Pac-12 title and they have a a college football playoff berth, like it would be because of Bo Nix. Like yes, he's got a great team around him. Yes, they've got a great coach. They're great on the on the line of scrimmage. But he is the straw that stirs that drink. And also, it's not just a thing like he's along for the ride. He's putting up some pretty phenomenal numbers himself as well. The Utah win gave him some juice. The Heisman moment for him, without question, has to come against Washington in that Pac-12 title game should they find themselves there. Now, we're talking about Washington, and a lot of people are saying, well, J.D., what about about Michael Penix Jr.? Shouldn't he win the Heisman? Uh, He has a chance to. I firmly believe that. I believe he's right now second when it comes to the betting odds. And if they beat Oregon and he puts up like five touchdowns passing, maybe he does win the Heisman. But 
my issue with Michael Penix Jr., I'm going to sound like a hater here, but that's okay. He's had zero passing touchdowns in two separate games. Two separate games. I understand the Heisman, it's a November award, but you still got to keep pace from September all the way up until November. Having your quarterback, I don't want to say go missing, but have a zero in the box score next to passing touchdowns on two separate games, to me, that is enough to be like, hey, one of the best players in the country probably will be drafted and have a great NFL career as well, you would imagine. And what he's done cannot be you know, denied how impressive it is. But again, to have two separate games with that kind of stat line, that gives me cause for concern. And that, to me, is the edge for a Jaden Daniels or a Bo Nix or Marvin Harrison Jr. to overtake where he's at right now in this Heisman race. But again, it's a stages game. If he pops on the right stage, it could be his award. And we might come in here on a Sunday morning and talk about it and say, yeah, Michael Penix Jr. won the Heisman last night because of what he did against Oregon or whatever it ends up being. So the Heisman is not rigged if Marvin Harrison Jr. does not win. But he, again, I think will have the best NFL career of anyone playing college football right now. Jane Daniels should win the Heisman from where we're standing. And uh, Bo Nix, I think, will win the Heisman when it's all said and done. So that's our thoughts on it. Heisman race finding into or, or rounding into rather its final stretch. And uh, that's what we love November football for, baby. Award season, conference title season, scenario season. It's all right now very much so intact. And uh, we're going to watch it all play out. Game time is bringing y'all the hard count today, and we are right on the cusp now of conference title season. And me personally, there was a point in time where I wanted to go to a conference championship game. Wanted to go. Was fired up to go. And at this point in time, there were tickets that were allotted to students that I thought I had a chance to maybe find my way into getting. The queue opened up. Tickets went like that. And I'm like... Jeez, man, are we, are we going to go to this game? Uh, we did end up going in the second to last row, but that all could have been avoided if I had just used game time and bought tickets ahead of time because game time, they're going to get you the best tickets for the best prices, and that's guaranteed. They're obsessed with finding ways to save you money. I wouldn't have had to wait up to the last minute to wait till student tickets open up. I could have just bought tickets via the game time app with like two taps, and it would have been phenomenal. The game time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section or row for less game time, they'll credit you. Listen to this, 110% of the difference. Also, get the view before you buy the tickets so you don't end up sitting behind the Jumbotron and seeing like a fraction of the game from your seat. That's the worst. Game time, again, they'll let you see where you're sitting from a view perspective before you even purchase the tickets. So here's where it gets important. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code HARDCOUNT for $20 off your first purchase. That's H-A-R-D-C-O-U-N-T. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code HARDCOUNT for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices, guaranteed. A great way for y'all to support the show. And so we appreciate y'all in advance for rocking with game time because they're rocking with us. And in that way, they're rocking with all of us. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.